On today's show, we have Iggy Fennec joining us, editor, writer, and general all-around fashion fiend. So I am personally very excited. I have been very excited for you to come in, as you know. And I'm even more excited now that you've brought all your stuff and I can see Quite that a lot have, of stuff. <laughs> and you have a very clear colour palette already, I can Yes, see. I do. Greens, blacks, golds. Yes, so gold. you can decide which one we start off with. Fair enough. Um, this one, I think it's cool, one of I'm my happy. most prized possessions. I'm Charles happy you chose Ron. that. Charles and Ron. Charles and Ron from okay. their collection Wired Bloom. This was a runway piece. Let's take it out. And I had literally, to be honest, I really wanted this originally. So this is a Charles and Ron image? That's a Charles and Ron image, okay. it's a Charles and Ron dress. And they had created this filigree neck piece, basically, yeah. neck piece, basically. And I really wanted that, but that had already been sold. So then I got the second best thing. Exactly, you got the photo of it <laughs> <laughs> on the coat. I only wear it like once a year because it's a big statement piece. You should wear it more than yes. once a year. And the front is just plain black because the yes. back says all the, does all the it's talking. It's really funny, I, I, I was waiting behind the church once and someone asked me if I was a priest. Because you're, you're wearing <laughs> yes. this? Cause because of the, because of the colour. Because of the colour. It was yeah. really funny. But I love it. Cool. So, in the same colour palette. Yes. This wow. was my first fashion statement piece. Okay. Which I bought, I think I was 20 or 19. Okay. It doesn't fit me anymore, electric and I get way too much. Sad. Um, but I do love it. Um, I bought it from Blush and Panic, which was a vintage store in Valletta at the time. Cool. And it doesn't People exist? It doesn't exist anymore? No, 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 it doesn't. It's basically a 1980s women's jacket. Ooh, can I try it on? Go for it. Thank you. Hopefully it fits me. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, I'm so scared. I'm going to complete my look. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> How does it look? I love it. Does it fit with the headpiece or is it too much? No, it's never too much, as you can see. By the way, I dressed for you today. How <laughs> oh, sweet. Thank I wore you. these shoes that are killing me for you. They're beautiful. Look. We're matching. Exactly, we're matching. <laughs> and the headpiece, but I'm a big fan of I a headpiece. It. This one is a kurta, mm -hmm. which was given to me by a family in India. Um, it was hand embroidered by the mother's sister. I love it. I've worn it many, many times. I've seen you wearing this. I love it. It's it's so comfortable. It's really comfortable. I, um, you might have worn this to a Malta Fashion Week. No, it was a Carla Grima show. Okay. It was a Carla Grima show. This? No, I love this one. <laughs> I have quite a collection. Some very old ones, some very new so ones. So it's not your only one? No, it's not my only one. I've, I have quite a few stories of getting them to Malta. Okay. I got stopped in an airport in... Is it like a weapon? Yeah, it is like a weapon. <laughs> um, no, once from Italy, my friend had to pretend that she couldn't walk to get oh one down. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> um, and then when I did the Camino de Santiago, I bought one of the really big ones okay. that pilgrims use. And I got to the airport and the people there were like, no. are you joking? Exactly. Especially because it had like a pointed that's metal bit at the bottom, which I didn't realize. So then they took it away from me and I almost cried because I love my, love my walking suits. I don't think I've ever used one. I can just imagine Lucius Malfoy, you know? Like you you just feel powerful. <laughs> I know, it, you do. It's the, it's the most extra thing. Though. But it's a bit like, you're not going to just yes. go for a walk with no, it. No, oh, oh, no. I might. Exactly, you might. <laughs> <laughs> Iggy might. <laughs> it's not good when you're at an event though, because I can hold the drink in a walking stick. No, right? you'd have to just, you'd have to just like maybe lean it. Yes. Can it becomes like it. an accessory. It's, um, it's my most statement one, I think. Yeah. Last but not least, I'm from sure the want, rack. Do you want to try this on? I really do, and I've seen this so much online. <laughs> I'm so curious about this. I think this was my and how you biggest have it. thing. How do you even no, no, this get is an actually, Onella? It was really random. A okay. friend of mine jokingly, jokingly sent me a post from Facebook from an antique dealer okay. saying like, we have an Onella, this is the one wanted. <laughs> Okay, so this is an original. It's an original, it's a 1940s one, like literally like at the very, very end. Oh I think it was God. used by the women of the museo at, the, at that time. Those were the only people who used them, used them at cool. that point in time. 
It's still in pristine condition. You're super lucky you got your hands I on it. I know, one. and it was it was one of those things where I called him and I was like, I really want it. Like, I don't care how much it is, just like, I want it. And he's like, I'm not saving anything anymore. So I made my mother go and pick it up like within 20 minutes. How do you wear it though? I want, Mera, to, so I want to analyze. This little thing mm -hmm. um, is to see through. So okay. you would have it like this. And okay. this sort of guides you of where you need to stay. Okay, so yeah, you because you don't have through. any vision from exactly. the sides. Exactly. So then you have a little loop mm -hmm. and you hold on to it like this. And that's, how, and that's the traditional way that's of wearing That's the traditional way, because this is to see from the side. Cool. Okay. So, Should we try? Yes, come on. Do you think I can handle it with my head, <laughs> my please? My head is still okay. My, yes. Okay. So, there we go. You need to put your finger through the loop here. Okay. Your thumb exactly, and okay. there we go. Now I really feel Maltese. <laughs> no one can say I'm not. I love it. <laughs> yeah, it was too. quite a big thing to wear, actually. I was quite worried about what it's the connotations a huge, would be. It's a huge statement. So I actually got a fashion historian, a jewelry historian, to help me out, um, Francesca Balsan and Caroline Tonda. Okay. Um, to ask them about sort of the connotations, whether it was religious or not. Yeah, because. Because I didn't want to. Offend. Offend. Yeah. But, and it was, a, from my end, it was a political statement, political with a capital B, about losing our skylines and slimmer townhouses. Yeah. So I wanted to, to, I wanted it to be like an old TSC years Malta. Amazing. But I didn't want to you, cause even more hassle. But you always, <laughs> I, I like you because you always have a message to your looks. Yes. Especially with big events and stuff. And yes. a lot of people avoid it, but it's important. So. Earlier I called you the brooch boy because yes. in my head that's what you are. Like when I think of Iggy Fennec, I think of brooches and just a lot of ornaments. Yes, I do. And you brought in some of your favourite ones. Yes, I have. So which one would you like to so, start So I think with? this one. I think this is okay. one of my biggest favourites. You can take it. Back um, I will. This is a two-piece brooch mm -hmm. um, which was made for me by Francesca Balsan, who's a sculptor. It's Louis XIV, something okay. which normally goes like this. Oh my god, so up here. Up here, like, yes. Ooh. And then this goes on, on the pocket. nipple. Oh, okay, got it. And this is from a painting um, uh, called Gabrielle Destre and one of her sisters. And okay. a lot of people remember it because there's, there are two naked women and one of them is pinching the other's nipple. Yes, I've um, seen it. They're not related other than both of them being coming from France. But okay. No, but I like it. I love it. I love it. Thanks for explaining. It's, it's, I would have never have made that relation. Thank you so much for coming and giving me a sneak peek into your wardrobe. No worries. Thank you for having me, actually. I was very excited and <laughs> I think you completely delivered. Jeez. And thank you guys for watching Off The Rails and keep your eyes peeled for the next episode.